welcome back to my channel and I'm doing uh, Australian book box unboxing with my friend Mel. Hi. So Mel does not have bookstagram, she's not part of the bookish world as we know it, but she is a book lover. So I thought it would be a perfect example to have Mel here unpack these boxes that I have before us and compare Australian book box company and if you're going to get value for money. Are you ready? I'm ready. Cool. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Okay. Uh, so we've got four book boxes to unpack. The first one is the YA Chronicles which is probably Australia's biggest book box company. They're pretty much leading the game with followers, sales and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. this was the first bookish box company out there I believe. But that's that one. The next one we've got is, I'll show you the back of the box because it's got my address on the front. This is from Telltales. Now this does not contain a book this month. This is just some candles and some merch and stuff like that. I've already opened this and I've already seen what's inside and I'm really, really excited. <laughs> so next up, this is actually from Creative Inspirations and this is your box. <gasps> oh! Which... I call her Giggles. It's not Giggles, <laughs> but I call her Giggles. Giggles sent this to you to open on camera, and it's your box, so you get to keep everything inside. Thanks, which Giggles. Is, which is really, really <laughs> exciting. So Creative Inspirations is new to the game. She's been out for about, I'm going to say, four months, and her Instagram followers and her interaction with people are, is just amazing. Mm -hmm. Probably should mention that Telltale <laughs> is a friend of mine. She's been up and active for about six months. Yep. And she's doing really, really well. She's just put the business on hold and she's going to kick off again next year, though. So this is the last box that I'll be receiving for her this year. Uh, last box is the Book Club Crate. So this company actually shut down, uh, but I really wanted to gauge your reaction to the products in this box, uh, which I think will mimic the reactions of a lot of people that got the box. Okay. Um, I did receive this for free as a rep package. Um, I didn't pay for it. Um, but yeah, that'll be interesting. So, oh, one last thing. I'm getting carried away. We also got something from Booked for the Weekend. I can't show you. It's got my address on it. So Booked for the Weekend just closed down as well. But Tamara was such a lovely person. She thought she'd give us some stuff and support the artists that were in this little, it's like a bookmark box mm -hmm. as well. So we could show them on camera as well. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, so which one did you want to open up first, Mel? Creative no Inspiration. <laughs> Alright. I'm very excited. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is your first ever book box, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> so what do you gauge when you first open the box? I really like the colour. It's, you know, it's wrapped up really nicely. Um, it comes with a, a note on the top. Um, I'm assuming it's the spoiler card. So it's a spoiler card. Okay, yeah. so it tells you what's in there. I don't know if I want to be spoiled yet. No, no, no. I can, <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> so you can remain surprised. So yeah, it's wrapped up really nicely. It's like a refreshing summer, spring kind of color. Yeah, you can. I'll show it. Yeah. So it's very nice, very vibrant. So apparently, Giggles uses different colors for every month. Okay. So she keeps it bright and colorful. Awesome. I like that. All right, rip it open. <sighs> rip it open. <laughs> rip it okay. open. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff in here to take in, <laughs> which is good. It's a good thing. So this is her Heaven Scent box. Okay, Heaven Scent. I don't even know what to start with. This is all really cool. Um, probably start off with the book. So we have a book in here by S.J. Morgan called Heaven Sent. It, um, it actually looks quite cool. I like the idea of wings. I'm a bit of a wings fan. Yeah, this is, this is apparently is a really good book. I've seen some really good reviews for it online. Mm -hmm. What's next? What's next? Okay, so we have... Oh, it's a little teacup candle! That's really cute! And it says thank you. That's adorable. I really like that. I can't smell through the plastic. Should we get it open? I'll get it open. You, you get the next one. Forever. Okay. Teamwork. Um, oh, that is cool. 
Does this smell? No, but it's still amazing. I also have hay fever, so if it does smell, sorry. But this is really cute because I, I do obviously drink wine and champagne and stuff and I'm a lightweight, so I don't drink a whole lot. <laughs> so that's going to help save me my alcohol. <laughs> so that's really cool. Yeah. I like how it's running with the blue theme of things. It's very nice. And now we have like a little blue... Blue? Blue? English, dude. <clears throat> now we have a blue pouch. It's velvet. And there's something inside it. <gasps> oh my goodness. These are... Do you want to hold up the book? These are wings, which run with the theme of the book. They're yeah. little pins. That's awesome. That's really cool. And they're gold. That's really cool. They might what? be like, um, you know, the, what do you call them? The collar ones? When you put them on like your dress shirts. Oh, yeah. The collar pins. Oh! <laughs> now I have some wings. <laughs> they're really adorable. I'll pop them back in there. So that they're protected. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that, that was the box that yeah that came in. We'll just put that back in just in case we drop it. Um, also running with the wing theme, we have a nice decent sized bookmark, which is amazing because it's also running with the blue theme, and you can never really have enough bookmarks. No, there's no such thing. Exactly, in a tassel. I love that. That's actually really cute. Did you notice on the back though? It's um, got the book review. So you can write the title of the book, the author, the quotes and the notes and have your rating on it and keep it in the book. That's awesome. So Giggles actually makes these. Really? Yeah. Good job. I like that. Oh, it's my favourite colour. We have... Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a teal... Greeny... Oh, it's a scarf! Stop it! <laughs> Oh it's wow! Gorgeous, isn't it? And you should see my scarf collection at home. I have heaps of scarves because I collect them. Mm. You can never have too many scarves. You really can't. No. no. That is gorgeous. And feel that. Oh, that is it's so It's really soft. soft. That is divine. It's nice. I like that. It's nice. Very nice. Oh. We'll pop that back in there. I'll fold it properly later. No, that's right. I can. I'll. I'll Thanks, do. You, you keep unboxing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next up, we have. Oh, a print. A print. How cool is that guy? That's pretty cool. It's got a snake with a crow and a faceless dude with awesome wings. Like a reaper. Yeah. That's really cool. It is really awesome. Hmm. I like it. That will definitely suit my house decor. <laughs> to a T. Is this what I think it is? This is really cool. What is it? It's a bag! Is it a book bag? Or is it like a... I don't know, you'll have to open it up. I do know. <gasps> ah! It's an esky it's bag! It's a freaking esky bag! <laughs> and it's really cool! So that is really cool. In, and then you like strap it around like your bag straps. Yeah, how cool, right? That is amazing. There's so much room for extra activities in here. I <laughs> love it. It's so cool, right? And we've reached the bottom. So now there's like fluff and, and stuff. Okay, yeah. Oh, and the heart on here on the zipper says, I love books. You know me too well. <laughs> that is amazing. There'll be like a paint to get a close up of, but let's do it anyway. Cool. So that was your first ever book box. I'm I'm pretty wrapped. It's Actually, good, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. So two of my book friends, um, Jace and Jess, did like an unboxing. So they rep for her, mm -hmm. and they did an unboxing of this. And I was so tempted to watch, but I didn't watch them do it live. But I watched it back later because <laughs> I had to find out. Of course you did. Yeah. That is so cool. But also the book box is actually called Living on a Prayer. So that was my bad. Oh. I read the wrong bit. It's not heaven sent. It's living on a prayer. Okay. Oh, I got it. That's cool. Well, it goes yeah. with the theme of everything. This is so cool. We'll pop everything back in. 
Alright, so that's Creative Inspirations done, and that's your box, so that's exciting. Now, which one did you want to open next? Did you want to open the Book Crate, Wire Chronicles, or Telltales? Let's go Telltales. Yep, yep. I'm really excited about this one. Okay. So I'm just... Thank you. Okay, so it's full to the top. Mm, which always is always a good thing. Which is always a good sign. <laughs> um, on the top, we have a little postcard with a saying by Lynette Noni. And it's got um, the, uh, what, what did you call it? A spoiler card. A spo <laughs> this is the spoiler card. So it's got the spoilers written on the back. Just a quick flash. So Lynette Noni is an Australian author. Mm -hmm. So she writes the Medoran Chronicles. Okay. Which is like uh, between like a middle grade and a YA read. Um, I like the premise of the story, I just don't like the books themselves. Okay. But I've read like, oh, a hundred of them. Like there's a hundred? No, there's like six oh. all together. A new <laughs> one's coming out. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, well, there you go. Um, okay. So we have a... Oh! A book sleeve. We have a book sleeve and it's got... I'm assuming they're bunnies with really long ears? Yeah, they're bunnies. Okay. It's cool, and it's fluffy on the inside. That's cool, so it'll protect your book. Mm. It's pretty cute. What's next? Um, you can say it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a bookmark. Bookworm, bitch! I'm a dragon. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite sayings. That's so. I didn't know if I could say it. <laughs> You'll probably like bleep out the word, but the fact it's written there <laughs> should be fine. Yep. That's, Decent size bookmark too. Yeah. I love calling like my Instagram followers book dragons. Mm. I love it. I love the term book dragon. That's... I like dragon too. Yeah. And now we have... Oh. Wow. Running with the theme. It's a print. Um, just on normal paper. Of not normal paper, but like not framed like the other one. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a dragon. He's pretty cool. I reckon that'd make a good tattoo. It would make a good tattoo. Hmm. I love J Maz art stuff, which I'll tag her below so you can go check out her Instagram profile. She does do some amazing work. Yeah. That's pretty cool actually. I love it. And now oh cute. We have some little um uh badges. <laughs> <laughs> Blank. We have some little badges, so there's one with a saying, the world will be saved and remade by the dreamers. And then there's a cute little, is that who I think it is? I think it's meant to be recent. It's recent. <laughs> Blushing. Um, so they're really cute as well. You know what? I reckon they look really good on the book bag too. Mm, you would. We've got those. And now we have a little... A little packet of lip balms, which I'm assuming are homemade. Yeah. Yeah. So, Grey London. So, this scent is smoke, ocean, and salt. The other one is also, what's that say? Red London. Yeah. So, and that's part of the A Darker Shade of Magic series by V. Schwab. Oh, that's really clever. And that's roses, lilies, and gardenia. Yum. I think they were from Behind the Pages, right? Yes. Yeah, Behind the Pages. Yeah. So they're really cute. I can't wait to smell those. I'll take them out. <clears throat> oh my gosh, get out. Alright, you want red or grey? Red. I'll take grey. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is edible. Yes. No, it's not, but it does smell like it's edible. Don't eat this at home. No. So this is smoke, ocean, and salt, and this is like... Oh, wow. I want my men to smell like this. Yeah? Why don't they smell like this? Ooh, Ooh. wow. This is nice. Do you know what, actually? I want to smell like this. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool to smell like this all the time? But yeah. that scent actually reminds me of a candle that I got... Um, for the um, A Court of Thorn and Roses series. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Akita. Yeah. Amazing. That is... I love Grey Delicious. London. Delicious. They're really nice. Uh, let's see if we can... 
focus on them. All right, what's next? Okay, what's next? We have some baby candles. So these are all by uh, Litwick. Which is an Aussie company. So this one's called Entwood. And the scent is pine bark, fir needle, lichen, and what's that say? Vet vetiver. Vetiver, I think, yeah. Um, book inspired natural soy candles. Oh, it's got glitter in it! And that smells like a forest to me. That's actually really nice. Oh, that is really nice. Mm. So vetiver is like lemongrass citronella, like a grass thing. It's a plant smell. I've never heard of it before. Thank you, Google. Yep. This one is called Care Paravel. It's sea salt, ocean breeze, and caramel. Sea salt and ocean breeze is one of my favorites because I like to put it on after cleaning. Yep. It just gives that really refreshing smell it around does. the house. Well, sometimes I like to spray it and pretend I've cleaned my house. <laughs> yeah, actually. Oh, that's really cool. It's got glitter in there. Again. <laughs> oh. Oh, I like that. Mm. That one will definitely be the pretending I've cleaned the house one. Yeah. <laughs> or yourself. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really cute. And we have one last candle from Cool & Co. Handmade with Love. So Cool & Co is like another Aussie company. Oh. If I can get this one open. Okay. So this one is the Hobbit inspired, called Smog. You know who Smog is, right? Y yeah. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I haven't read the Hobbit. I told you she wasn't really bookish related, people. Um. Smog is the dragon from the Hobbit. <gasps> so it's still running with the dragon theme here. That's actually really cool. Like I even think I have like the pop up book here somewhere. Hmm. It doesn't actually say... Oh, yes, it does. Sorry, I apologize. Mm. Smoke, fire, and oak. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. This is already going to be my favorite, I know. This is going to be another hot man smell. Oh, gosh. And look at that. That is gorgeous. That is really nice. Oh, you just... You, you can't top it. Mm. That's like a very summer manly smell after, like, having a few drinks around the campfire. That, to me, I feel like that would be a Tamlin smell. Maybe Lucian, because... Actually, yes! Because Tamlin's a bit of a douchebag. Yeah, a little bit. A bit of a dick. Yeah. <laughs> Edit! <laughs> That's alright. That is really nice. I'd be scared to burn that. Oh, I don't burn my candles. I'm not like you. I'm like a hoarder. <laughs> I love burning candles. my candles. <laughs> no, I can't. But for me, it depends on, like, I'm very specific with when I'm reading a book, I'll put on, like, I'll take my time to actually choose a scent. Mm. Because then when I'm, it helps me sort of focus in on the book. And if I have that scent on, it's like my, my brain switches into that book mode. And every time I smell that candle, whether I've finished the book or not, my brain associates that scent with that book. And that's how I make the memories from it. And that's how I can remember storylines as well. Wow. I just like them because they smell pretty. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a weird one. So next up, this is the last item in <coughs> the box. We have a cute little wrapped up package, which I'm going to tear open. And it's a fridge magnet. Oh, that's cute. Cute as. It's got a little mermaid on there saying, dive into your dreams. That's very cute. That's pretty cool. That can hold up my bills. Or your bills. Whoever's bills. It's a bill holder. Or it can just like... Build a shrine <laughs> around it? Yeah, build a shrine. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I really just only put photos on my fridge. I don't really put anything else. I try and hide my bills. And that <laughs> way I pretend they don't exist. <laughs> Adult life. Yeah, it sucks. Alright, so we've got two more boxes to do. We've got the book crate and the wire chronicles. So, which one did you want to open next? 
Let's go with YA Chronicles. So the biggest book box company, the YA Chronicles. So I hope you like this because I paid for this one. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm excited. Another nice refreshing colour. Yeah. Lavender. Nice. Okay, it's kind of it's a bit scrunchy, that's fine. We'll work with that. I'm a little bit meticulous, I like things, you know. Yeah, this got I'm a folder. Oh, <laughs> well, that could have been me though, like my defense. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. So this was the fierce females box. Okay. There's there's a lot of stuff in here. Um so this is there's some jelly soap in here called Boy Tears. Boy Tears. What's Boy Tears? I don't know, when we like get too fierce we make them cry. Okay. <clears throat> Jelly soap. So what is it, like a hand scrub or something? It's jelly soap. Okay. Yeah, I'd say maybe. So we smell. Wow. We... That smells nice. It's got like a bit of a tang after smell though. Yeah. Can you get that? Yeah, I do. So it smells nice to begin with, but then you get that tang that's like <laughs> in the back of your throat. Yeah, like it's the smell punches you. I'm in getting the face. like a sneezy feeling. <laughs> yeah, the smell literally punches you in the face. Okay. Look, it's got the ingredients on it as well. Um, personally, I prefer all natural ingredients and stuff. Mm. But whatever works for you. So yep, that's our boy tears that we're going to be washing our hands with because we're savage. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this. Sweet Cherry Soda is the company. It, look, to me, it kind of gives off not so much a, a YA vibe. It's sort of like something that I would probably get my like your niece. eleven year old niece. Why oh, did I smell it again? Why did you do that? Oh, it's punched me. I'm gonna remove this from you. Yeah. Me. Okay. <clears throat> I don't like that. I'm sorry. Blunt. Don't like it. That smells really bad. Okay. Do we need to go wash our nose hairs? I uh, I would, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Next we have a spoiler card. A spoiler card. I knew <laughs> I knew what that is. So close. Now. So fierce females. Print on the front, and then obviously all the writing on the back, which don't yeah. read it. Yeah, we never read it out. Yep. CBS so that's app. that's very. Like really, really young adults, I think. Is this a, like is this box aimed at um, young adults? Like, what age group is it supposed to be aimed at? Um, well, considering like YA books are generally like anywhere from I don't know, let's say ten above, depending on people's reading level. Yeah, but like, it, gee, some of the YA books I've read, I would not let my ten-year-old read if I had a ten-year-old. Yeah. But that's why I think it's more like a teenage to adult box, and mm. I reckon there's a high like amount of people that are adults that read YA rather than kids mm. so I don't know I think this kind of needs to be more like a middle grey especially with like that soap mm. more of a middle grey feel to it yeah, whereas okay. like you don't give kids candles you give adults candles kind of thing yeah no that's that's fair fair assumption um okay so we have a bookmark a fierce fierce females part one bookmark yeah, so why Chronicles do their own special bookmark every month? So they don't get another company in, I don't think. They just do it themselves. Yep. Is that cut on an angle? It's cut on an angle. Is it cut on an angle? It's like... I am quite meticulous. <laughs> I think it is cut on an angle. So I'm just lining up with my floorboards and it's cut on an angle. That's a bit awkward. Okay. Right, what's next? Um, we have a promotion bookmark for The Darkest Minds. So that would have been given to them by a publisher, which in that case is HarperCollins, right? Yeah. So, they didn't pay for that. That would have been given to them. So I don't know why they put it in the box. Getting rid of stock? Maybe. Helping Space somebody? filler? Could be. Could be. Considering we've already got one bookmark in there. Yeah, but at least but, that bookmark's nice to look at. Like, this kind of stuff you get is like getting junk mail. You just throw it out. Mm. 
Because it's advertising. Yeah. I've mm. already got the whole series. I don't need a weird bookmark. How many books are in the series? Four. Four. Yeah. Oh. Okay. They're like right behind the light actually. So, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that because I'll focus on them now. <laughs> Look at the camera. Um, now we have... I'm going to open it. I'm tipping it to scarf. It's a, a leopard print scarf. Are we opening it today or tomorrow? What are you doing? <laughs> Don't punch me on camera. <laughs> to, 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 today. <laughs> Okay. Ah, oh, rubbish. So this is a... So it's a scarf. It's a scarf. Leopard print. It doesn't feel as nice as the other one. No. It's alright. I mean, like, does it... It's got no brand name on it either. What else? Okay. We have... I think this is a, a really big ring. With a, with a barcode on, on the front. Yeah. So no, again, no brand name? No brand name. So it's like a claw ring. Ah, right. Hang on. Can I find a finger? To... Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Hang on. Let me just get that on. Ah! Oh, that's kind of cool. I've never had a claw ring before. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Even though it's covering my amazing nails. Um. Yep. Cool. It's like ring armor. It is, isn't it? Yeah. You could like... <laughs> yeah, that's why you get these. That's true. Poke people's eyes out. Okay, so we have our ring armor. Sweet. What's next? Okay. We have, it says, handmade in Adelaide, South Australia by Red and... Sorry. I'm going to start that again. Whoa, awkward. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have handmade in Adelaide, South Australia by Reed and Wonder. Um, they've got their Instagram account on there too, which is at Reed and Wonder underscore. So... They're magnetic bookmarks. I don't know who the characters are though, which is, I don't know, it's like, bad I guess. Maybe the spoiler card. I'm digging the pink hair though, and there's one in a wheelchair. Oh, it's maybe from the book. So it's got Frey, Ovi? What is Juniper's name? Juniper and Runa are the boneless mercies. So, I'm guessing it's from that series. Can I take one out and have a look? Yeah. I just want the pink one. So yeah, you like clip it onto your page. That's pretty cute. Okay. I like magnetic bookmarks. I collect them. I didn't even know they existed. <laughs> oh, well I'll show you the um, Akatom ones you can get later. <gasps> mm. Stop it. <laughs> there goes my money. <laughs> okay, so we'll just pop that one back in there. I'll do that. You can Thanks. Going. And what's the book? The last one is the book. It's called The Boneless Mercies by April Genevieve to Yeah, fuck saying that. Just to Col to Colby to Col to Colkey. That I have to admit is a really pretty cover. I do like really shiny things, and that's it's sort of mm. like an orange and blue metallic. Um, and then obviously it's got the blurb on the back. So, yeah. Um, okay. I think maybe that's the last thing in the books. I'm in the books in the box. In, in, in the box. That's the last thing in the box. I think I'm going to say probably my favourite thing or the thing that I liked the most out of this box was the cover of the book. So the book. <laughs> the book. That's alright. The book. Should we open the last one and then we'll do like comparison to everything? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Let's do that. Great idea. So let's just shove everything back in there. 
and then we'll give like uh like brutally harsh opinions afterwards. Okay. Or thoughts. Sure. Mostly harsh opinions because you know that's how we roll. Okay. I can be harsh. Yeah. Yeah, just shove it in and it flies in. I'll probably open it back up. Alright, so our last box is the book crate. Awesome. Let's en do it. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. Okie dokie. Alright. So the presentation of the box is obviously not great because it's a previous box. I took photos with everything and just kind of like shoved everything back in. Okay. I won't judge is, on that then. <laughs> yeah, but this is like another YA box, whereas like obviously Creative Inspirations, that box was an adult box. Okay. All right. Awesome. So we have, um, first up we'll start with, it's the spoiler card, which is like so. Mm -hmm. On top we've got a letter from the author, which is... Also cut a bit wonky, but that's okay. Not really. Look how wonky that is. <laughs> it's so wonky. Okay. <laughs> so that's a letter from the author for, obviously, I'm assuming the book that's inside. Yeah. Um, we've also got an interesting looking book bag. I do love book bags. Yeah. I like book bags where books fit, though. Yeah, and this is wonky. This is also wonky. I'm going to have a peek inside. Yeah, do it. I don't know if I put anything in there. Maybe like... So it's lined inside too, which is always what you want. We need to look after our books. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's got little birdies on it. What's next? What's next is we've got a book-related bookmark. Um, written on the front is a quote by Dana Fredsty. Shadows are coming your way, girl. Shadows that kill, shadows that rend. Possibly a quote from the book? Possibly. Or oh, a Monday morning feel. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Tomorrow. <coughs> yep. Don't remind me. Mm. Um, we've also got, we've got a, another little sort of Hessian type feeling bag in here. I'm not quite sure what you'd use this for, but I am a noob, so... I was going to put, like, my hopes and dreams in there. What hopes and dreams? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so that's cute. Okay. We have a... Print? A laminated print. Obviously, I would say that's a book character, possibly. Um, it doesn't have anything written on here as to who is she it is. Is it laminated or just like thick board, like paper? No, it's, you can see it's, it's laminated. I think it's laminated anyway. It's a little bit bent in the top corner too. Actually, the laminate is coming off. Hmm. It's alright. It's there definitely not one of my favourite prints. Alright, so what's next? What's next? We've got a headband. Would look nice at um, Christmas Nana's time. Christmas table. <laughs> so, I don't know what you think. I don't know. A headband's like still a thing. I don't know. Unless they've got like cute little cat ears on them. Oh, cat ears, yeah. Cat ear headbands are everything, but. I don't... Or actually, unicorn. Yeah, unicorn ones. Just putting it out there. But like material headbands like that, I don't think have been popular since like what the eighties when scrunchies were around. Maybe like maybe the nineties even yeah. when Hanson Spice Girls were around and you dance around your lounge room. Yeah, before like At the Christmas grunge. Time. Yeah, before the grunge took over. Mm. Okay. But um, so glad to see it in two thousand and eighteen. We like to bring things back. Mm. Vintage. Like vintage. Vintage, definitely. For grandma. We have another, uh, the Book Crate branded bookmark, laminated, it's just kind of plain and there, I can sit with our other bookmark. Um, <coughs> next up we have a 
stabbing utensil. It's good to encourage the young ones. I'm not sure what this is. What is this? What is this? I don't know. I was kind of hoping you tell me I've had that thing for like three months and I have no idea what I'm meant to do with it. Am I meant to like wear it as a necklace or like from an earring or just like stab my husband while he sleeps? Like, I don't know. Like, it's just up in the air. All of the above? All of the above. It's plastic, so it wouldn't... It's kind of sharp though. Yeah. Okay. There's but, that. But after getting... Oh, actually, you know what? I'll save that question until we do, like, the wrap-up. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, next up we have a, a handmade lip scrub in a little package. Are we going to open this? Yeah, you can if you want. So Erin that runs this box, she runs, like, another company as well mm -hmm. that does, like, this kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, which I haven't... This is, like, one of my first items from technically that company. It's... I haven't purchased anything from her. Oh, I can smell it through the package. I can get it out. There we go. Oh. Um. Ah. Oh. Have you got a cloth? <laughs> uh, Wait, t maybe that's what the tissue paper's for. In case of accidents. That is <laughs> it's leaking everywhere. The that's whole why I could smell it. It has leaked outside of the container. The whole container is like covered in it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Girl. Do we want to open it or just like smell it through the container? I don't want to see what the scrub's like, but I, I'm, I'm struggling. <laughs> struggling. Oh Maybe that's why you get the headband. <gasps> <laughs> Headbands are washable, aren't they? Look, I can't. It does smell amazing, actually. It's got like a cocoa. It's got a cocoa vibe <laughs> to it. You're it's right. It's got a sheen to it. I can't grab it. I do like the smell. No, the smell's nice. I'm just, I don't understand, like, because it's meant to be, like, a kind of thick thing, but it's like, oh my god, you can't even open this. Oh, no, here we go. You could use your muscle smell. Oh, so it's even got, like, a seal lid on there, and it still leaked through that. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Yep, okay. It does smell good. So, it's a, it's a good lip scrub. This it smells nice. It's not like that... Jelly? Boy tears. <gasps> Still tingling my nose. There we go. Alright, so we're going to smell like this for the rest of the day. Mm. Oh my god, it's so slimy. That's so you gross. Right? Yeah, no, it's alright. Just going to... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So, what's next in the box? Okay, so, we have, ooh, we have a candle. It's pretty cool. I do love my candles. Because you're a candle maker, aren't you? You make candles, yeah. Yeah. And you just make soy candles? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, only soy. I only use soy because, um, as mentioned like a billion times already, I like my natural stuff. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, soy for me... It also holds the scent a lot better. And, and it doesn't burn at a higher temperature, is that no, right? No, it doesn't. And it also, I find personally that they last longer. Um, whereas if you use any kind of wax that's not soy, when you burn them, you can kind of get that. You know how sometimes you get that scent that comes through? If you're burning melts and then the flavour or the fragrance runs out, yeah, it leaves that sort of really gross sort of waxy smell. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So um, with a good soy... Uh, wax, it doesn't, it shouldn't do that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I just hit my head on the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. I... <laughs> you right? Yeah, this is so embarrassing. Yeah. All right, <laughs> continue. <laughs> okay. Um, so, this is um, a candle in, you know, decent jar. And it says here, oh, cool, natural soy candle. Yeah, Awesome. Soy. Do we want to, we want to show the camera now? The, the label of the camera. <laughs> She's new to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Bear with me. <laughs> Awesome. So this says handmade soy candle. Um, I'm guessing the underlined word energy means that that's what the fragrance is that it's named. Okay. It doesn't it doesn't tell me anywhere what the actual fragrance is. Um, 
But that's, that's okay. Right. We'll figure it out. Okay. I'm trying to put my finger on it. It's... It's kind of like orangey, like lemony, got like a zesty smell to it. Yeah. It's like it's a, it's almost like, like a sweet orangey lemony. Yeah, but it's got like something else in there. It, to me, it's like you, you initially smell it and you're like, oh yeah, cool. And then when you finish smelling it, the after smell is like soap. Oh yeah. Does that, do you get yeah. that? Very soapy smell. Yeah, like, like that That to me, if I smelled that blindfolded, I would be like, okay, so I'm washing my hands with this. That like, uh, it's like a nursing home kind of smell. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, something for, for Nana, like a hand cream even. Yeah. Yeah. So I do have a question. Yep. Um, this is all cracked. Like the candle itself yeah, is all I'm already cracked. looking at that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and like, I, I don't know. I'm not an expert at candles, but like it doesn't feel like soy wax. Like I felt it, that wax, and then felt other companies, like a few different companies, because you know, I like to hoard my candles. I don't burn them. So I felt the difference and it does, it's not as soft. It's kind of like, you know. Sorry about that. I'm just feeling it. With your nails? No, that's not. <laughs> it just doesn't feel like soy. Okay. Kid, is it? Do you reckon it is soy, or do you reckon it's like, like, what do you, what do you think? Because I obviously I don't know. No, that's okay. So depending on how the actual candle is made, um, like so temperature wise, where it's been set and everything like that, um, especially with people who are amateurs making candles and they're not too sure, they're just starting out, it can crack. Okay. Like that. Um, I'm going to agree with you and say that, you know, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't feel like the type of soy wax that I use. No, so it could be like, what, a low-grade soy or... It could be, yeah, it could be a low-grade soy. Yeah, because like, it's like even cracked all the way around the rim, you can the see top. that, it's separated. Yeah. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up, but... And depending on the fragrance that you use or the amount of fragrance that you use as well, that can affect the setting of it as well, because like with the temperature and everything like that because you know with making candles you you put the fragrance in at a certain temperature you heat the wax to a certain temperature and you put the color in at a certain temperature so it's not all bang in at once um so that could contribute to it but it just it, yeah it doesn't feel like the type of soy wax that i use but yeah it's it's a candle so Conclusion, like a conclusion to that is, it's um, either she hasn't used soy wax, yep. or she just doesn't know how to make soy wax candles, so they come out like all the other soy wax candles I get. I right, yeah, yeah, yeah that's correct. All right, cool. So you can see there, it's been, it's cracked all the way down to the bottom. So I don't know, even if maybe she's moved this too early, um, and it's just sort of penetrated the way down. I'm not sure. But, yeah, okay. There you go. And last thing? We have the last thing, which is the book. Yeah. Um, we have a damaged book. Mel's like a stifler for damaged books like me. <laughs> yes. Um, so, yeah, this is called The Spawn of Lilith by Dana Fredsty. So correct the quote on the bookmark that we received earlier that was shown is obviously a quote from the book so this is our book here to be honest I've never heard of her I haven't heard of her either look I'm I'm gonna be honest and say like it could very well be a really good book I haven't heard of the author I haven't seen or heard of any reviews of this but the cover doesn't really appeal to me. It doesn't excite me. I'm a very bright and colourful and shiny person, um, you know, and especially if this is going to be introduced to young adults and stuff like that, you've got to be able to capture their senses, um, which to me it wouldn't be with... This This looks like more like a, an adult book. Yeah. yeah. So All right. I feel like this should have been titled like the Nana Box. Maybe. Alright, should we pack this box up and then go over all the boxes? 
mm -hmm. and then um, give our opinions on it and then open the book for the weekend thing. Absolutely. Do Should we do that? Sounds great. Sweet. All right, so we've just unpacked all the boxes. We've just shown you the products. So let's get down to, like, the final verdict. Sure. So generally about $40 per box, not including shipping. Okay. Which... <laughs> It's quite expensive when you think about it because, you know, you only get one book and if you get it from Book Depository, you get that book for like... 15 bucks? Yeah, 15 bucks. Yeah. So, it's realistically if the goodies in the box are worth it. I'd agree with that. So, shall we go through box by box? Absolutely. And then we'll say... I know which one's my favourite, but have you got a favourite yet? I do. <laughs> right, cool. I've already got a favourite. <laughs> Alright, so let's start with like YA Chronicles. So this is like, I'm just going to shut it so I can lift it up. Ugh. So this is like the biggest Australian book box. Okay. And what do you think? Um, <laughs> look, it was interesting. Um, I think I mentioned before that I feel like it was targeted more to a lot more of a younger audience, especially because it had the, the, the really Child, childish items yeah quite childish items and yeah I mean if if I had have paid forty dollars for it I wouldn't have been satisfied yes yeah. just my opinion so do you know what my thoughts were when I opened up the box so mm -hmm. I'm gonna get out the products again just so I can like back up my statement all right so first things first you got the book let's say that's twelve dollars right yep then you get this stinking, disgusting smelling thing that burns your nose hairs. Mm. You gotta buy that like wholesale. So what, that's like three bucks? Mm -hmm. Bookmarks, probably about the same. Yep. And then I feel as though the scarf and the ring, which was in the box, there. <laughs> I feel like this is eBay stuff. Yeah. I feel like this is something that you would have got like for 50 cents from China. Yep. And to me, like, I don't want to spend $40 on a box when I can buy trinket stuff like this from an unknown company or a Chinaman in China. I'd rather spend my money on something else. Yeah. So I wasn't very ha I wasn't happy with this box. I'm not a fan of the scarf as well, to be honest. It no. throws out the theme. Yeah, like, fierce females wear leopard print. Isn't, like, leopard print, like, a hooker thing? Mm. Just saying. Um, but, yeah, this is definitely, like, it should be more of a middle-grade book box with these kind of items. The bookmarks are really cool. That's probably the only thing I really like in the box. But the rest of the items, I'm sorry. I did like the book, like the, the cover of the book, yeah. Book aside, yeah. yeah, the bookmarks would have to be my favourite. Mm. But do you get your value for money with this box? Nah. No. Nah. 100% no. Is it worth getting a subscription? No. Nah. Because none of that stuff in there, like, okay, maybe you'd use the scarf, but, like, the ring I would probably wear. I wouldn't use the scarf. But, like, as in, like, a non, <laughs> non-creepy kind of human being, would you wear that ring? No. And no. the jelly soap stinks. Like, it's so gross, guys. You have no idea how much it stinks. Mm. I would never use it. That's something that would go in the bin. Mm. Yeah. So, you don't get your value for money in this box. I don't think so. So, this is, like, a big no from me. No. It's a no from me. And unfortunately, I won't be applying for any Y Chronicles rep searches or buying any more boxes because I'm sorry, I've this would this is my fifth one. I got one more coming. Yeah. And every single box I've been so disappointed with. One box I literally got two Pikachu pencils. What? I literally got two Pikachu pencils. Was it book related? Uh, are there any Pikachu books out there? How is it related? Oh, because the book was about a character that had like lightning power. No. Sorry. Exactly. If you're going to put that kind of products in a book box, middle grade it. Mm. YA is not just kids. We're adults. Mm. We like adult things. Yeah. And things that have value to it. Because what? That would have been a massive profit for them on this box. Mm. And we lucked out. Which yeah. is not what, as a buyer, you want. And plus there's shipping included on that too. I don't know. And shipping's a killer. Especially in Australia. So that's a no. You sit over there and you think about how crap you are. <laughs> Alright, your turn. Pick a box. Okay, um, I'm going to go with Telltales. Telltales? Yes. Alright, so what did you like about the Telltales box? I 
I, I liked that it was really full to the top. So yeah. instantly my instant reaction when I opened it was, wow. And they haven't just, like, there's, there's padding in the bottom to protect the items in there, but it's mm -hmm. not, like, full padded so that you can only, like, it's not misleading yeah. to me. Um, so I liked how when you open it, it's just full to the top, which shows me that, you know. All right, so quick count. Some stuff in there. Count the products in there. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven items in here. Granted, it hasn't have it doesn't have a book because it's not an actual like a book yeah. box. All right, so I'll, I won't count the book for this box then. Okay. So you got eleven items. Yeah. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Eleven versus six items for forty bucks. Which one are you gonna get? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's, there's probably nothing in this box that I don't like, to be honest with you. Um, I, I really quite like... I'm a huge book cover fan. Like, I yep. love book covers. Book sleeves, darling. Book sleeves. Book sleeves. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> book sleeves. Um, love the print as well. Like I said, that would make a mad tattoo. And you know what I like about the print? It actually looks good. Yeah. Like, the one in the book crate... It's really like it's such a shitty picture. Like the quality is really poor. Yeah. And then you got the one in the Wire Chronicles. It's not straight. It's just. Oh yeah. That's yeah. a big no-no. <laughs> it's. And it's very childish. Yeah. As well, which you know. And do you know what I noticed with that? There's like for me, I like a nice like a homely touch. Mm -hmm. So in that there was nothing homemade. It was all just bought stuff. So even the soapy stuff that was bought from a company. Yeah. Whereas this stuff has been, you know, it's homemade. It says it's homemade. And, you know, they... She hasn't jibbed us on items and stuff. Like, there's, there's three candles in here. There's there's lip balms and stuff like that. Like, this is all stuff that, um, even you know, like females would use. Yeah. You know? Um, you know, the bookmark. Even the card is really quite cute. And it's it's handwritten on the back, which yeah. shows that there's effort put into it as well. This This person really cares about what they're giving to people. Yeah, so. so that's Chantel. So like, as I said, I'm friends with Chantel. Yep. And me being friends with Chantel has, by no means has she put extra items in this box just for me to do this video. This mm -hmm. was just a rep package that I haven't opened yet and I waited. So the other reps got this same package. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing unique. This is her general way of doing boxes. And I know being on like the back end of Telltales that she puts a lot of effort into her boxes. She spends a lot of time and thought and processes. And we're thinking about boxes in months to come. Mm. Like, she's always on it. Yeah. So and the, actually, actually, I have to say, the candle scents are amazing. Yeah. The she, candle scents are really good. Yeah, she will speak to them about that. Yeah. Yeah, she's really good, Chantal. Extra mask. So that's a yes from us. We yes. like that. 100%. Good work. All right, so far, so far, Telltales is in the lead. I'm just going to chuck that up there. Sure. She's winning. Yep. All right, should I pick? Do it. I'm going to pick the book crate. Okay. So... I know that this company has shut down, so you can't buy products from this company anymore, which is probably a good thing, right? I hate to agree, but I'm going to agree. Yeah. So like <laughs> I said, I got this pro like this box as a rep. I was really excited to start repping for this company, um, but upon receiving this, I'm sorry, but I would be so angry if I spent $40 on this. So angry. Like, you get a lot of products in this box, but it, it's not... Useful. So what? Besides the book sleeve, which is crooked, which is which is crooked. Uh, it's not even like a big book sleeve. Like if you just pull out like like this one, Raymond E. Feist. There's no way that is going to fit in there. No. So you wouldn't be able to get like I'm going to struggle to get that bad boy back in. <laughs> I'll leave that with you. Yeah. Um, it's not big enough. So mm. the soy candle I wasn't a big fan with. I hate this, like, <laughs> I'm sorry, like, if it's going to be, like, a headband, make it at least something, like, cool. Mm -hmm. Like, have, like, dragons on it. Oh, oh, that would be amazing. Exactly. That would be a headband I'd wear. This, to me, was just a space filler. Yeah. Um, same with this. I don't even know what this is meant to do, like. I don't either. I don't. I don't understand. <laughs> this is so gross. It's still leaking, and, like, I don't know if you guys can see that shine. There, like, since putting it back in here, what, like, ten minutes ago? It's leaked a lot. It's leaked so much. It's definitely going in the bin. It does smell good, but... Yeah. And, like, 
you can get really good home printers. Mm -hmm. So like if you're printing this at home and this is your quality, you either upgrade your printer or you go to Officeworks. Mm -hmm. well, the laminate's <laughs> coming off that as well. It's so bad. And like the book obviously is written by an author so it has nothing to do with like the book box but you, this is a YA book box. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is a YA book. Oh, it's published by Titan, so maybe, but at the same time... It's quite old. It feel, it's got an old-school vibe to it. Yeah. I don't know. This, to me, is, like, a pretty crappy box. And, like, this. I don't even... I don't, like, I get that it's related to the book, but, like, what are kids meant to do with this? Like, even, like, younger kids, are they meant to, like, stab kids at school with it? Like, I don't... I don't get it at all and like the orange energy is that meant to like help her recoup because she's like I just don't get it I don't like this box I'm gonna have to say it's the worst box. it's it is I'm <laughs> saying it's the worst box it is definitely the worst box and um I don't know if book crate is gonna reopen again but I'm definitely not promoting her applying for her stuff I I can't promote something I don't have faith in and no. that to me is just it, there have to be some significant big changes based on reviews that have been made for it. I don't know if there's been any other reviews out there. Well, this is the thing, right? You go on to, like, or you speak to the other reps or you watch the other reps post and they, like, love it and they talk about how amazing this stuff is. And I'm like, $40 for that or $40 for that? What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want value for money. I want good products for money. I don't want to waste my money. If I wanted to waste my money... I would sit in a cafe all day and drink coffee. Yeah. And get nothing done. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's agreed. Done. Cool. So, Book Crate is so far at the bottom. Uh, YA is just above it. Not by much. <laughs> no, <laughs> not, not by much. <laughs> it's the bookmarks, I think. Yeah. Um, and then Telltales is winning. So, last box. Last box. What did you think? So, being like a brand new company, uh, Giggles has like dived in head first yeah and what do you think did you think she's hit the mark i absolutely think she's hit the mark this is my favorite box and yeah yeah um even though it was the first one that we we started with it was just i loved it yeah. i really loved it I, I don't think that i can fault anything that's in it it made me smile um and one thing that uh, really appealed to me is that pretty much all of the stuff in there was, it was going with the colour theme, you know, there was a colour theme going as well, and I'm, yeah. I'm very visual with colours and things like that, but also it was related to the book, mm. so it was book related, you know, wings on the book, and, you know, there was, there was wings in there, you know, and just, yeah, yeah I she, really liked it. She tied in all her products really, really well. I really love... Um, Giggles, so I've known Giggles before I even knew she was a part of oh, really? Creative Inspiration, so she has like her business account and her private account, and yep. I was like always chatting to her on her private account. Yeah. I, I couldn't tie the two together. Well, people probably knew, but I was a bit like, eh, airy fairy. Yeah. But I think she's done a really, really great job, and I think you do get your value for money in this yeah. box, definitely. Do we want to go through what's in there, or...? Uh, did you want to? I'm happy to do so. If we're going to give such a raving review... <laughs> Alright, I'm going to, like, center it on our laps. Yeah. Like, the one thing that I really, really like is definitely the print. That's definitely my favorite item in the box. And, like, this yeah. is an adult box as well. And she doesn't advertise it as, like, a, a middle grade or a YA one. Mm. She tells it how it is. And these are, like, awesome products that adults use. Yeah. I still need to wash my nose. So it's useful. Everything in here is gorgeous. I, like, even, like, the wine core car. you got the yeah. scarf. The scarf is gorgeous. The, and and the, you know what? It's creative to think of a lunchbox thing idea as well, especially coming into the hotter months as well. Yeah. And the book is. I'm really looking forward to the book. I didn't hate one thing in this box. No, I can't fault anything. This is probably my favorite adult box that I've ever got. And the cute, the gorgeous little um, the wings that were inside They're this, so the gold wings, cute. beautiful, love it. All right, so this is your winning box. Yes. I'm gonna have to pick Telltales. Yeah, okay. Telltales is definitely, like, they're a close second. Yeah, very close. Yeah. Um, and I'm not picking her because she's my friend, but, like, you had me at candles. Yeah. And, like, it's dragon theme. Like, I'm sorry. That's just one. Like, yeah. purely on products alone. So, I think if, if there was a book in the Telltales box, 
I would have to say it's a tie yeah, as well. Yeah, definitely. But, oh, like, this has got a book in it too. But, like, regardless, I think they're both really good value for money. And they're yeah, done 100%. with care. They're actually done with care. People have actually thought about this. They haven't just gone bang, 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 fillers, cheap yeah. stuff, promotion of other things. Yeah. Definitely. So, I, I don't know if I mentioned this at the start. I'll mention it now. So, Creative Inspiration, or Giggles, as I like to call her. <laughs> I love it. Uh, she sent this to Mel. So this is Mel's box. Um, and uh, she also sent me a box as well. But she also sent another box for Mel. Really? Yeah. She sent you two boxes. What? This one? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Do you want to open it? Thank you. Yes. Okay. Because this is a YA box. <gasps> oh, I'm that excited. I've got goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. She's such a sweetie. Oh, thank you. Ooh. So what another, does it look like? Another bright and colourful vibe going on here with our little cheat sheet. Not cheat sheet, but... What is it? Come on. What is it? It's like the fifth one. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. I'm so excited for this right now. Um, it's our spoiler card. Ta-da! So I remembered. <laughs> I did have to think about that. Okay, so we've got a nice, gorgeous, bright colour. Love it. Already appealing. I should mention that this is this box is Ancient Legends. Ooh. Mm. I'm already intrigued. I, I love anything ancient. Like, or, you know, I had this obsession with um, wanting, be wanting to become an anthro... Anthro... Please cut that bit out. <laughs> That's going to be in the blooper. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um... This is already appealing to me because I had this obsession as a kid to become like someone who, um, you know, deals with fossils or mummies. And, archaeologist? And archaeologist, thank you, yeah. And <laughs> so... <that> anthropologist? <laughs> by me. Yeah. Alright, let's open it. I'm going to rip this one. Oh my goodness, how cute is this? Okay. That is really cute. I love this. So it's like Game of Thrones stickers and they're all like glittery and like really, really cute. This is really cool. Look at them! Look at them! <gasps> they are really cute. Oh! Oh! They're adorable, aren't they? They are amazing. I just... I... <laughs> Words. Words. Okay. We've also got another awesome bookmark, which has like two wolf type things. Fox. Two. Fox. We've also got another <laughs> bookmark that's got some foxes on there, because we're foxy. Um, and that's like a book review one as well. So that's another one that Giggles has made. She's made this. Yeah, yeah. She made like the that's other, awesome. the wings one in this one? Yep. Yeah. This, I'm loving the tassels though, and with the little bead on it, like check out that cute little bead. It's like a, a weight thing, I suppose, but mm. it's awesome. I'm loving that. Running with the, the colour theme as well. We, next to have. Next to have, it is a notepad, which is really cool. On the front it says, born to read, forced to work. Story of my life. Right. <laughs> so that's really cool as well. I'm a huge notebook fan. I love, I love it. Notebooks. And it doesn't have lines, so... Yeah. You could just, like, draw doodles in it, too. Yeah. Not actual doodles. Just, like, <laughs> you know, while you're on the phone kind of doodles. Not Doodling. Actual... Doodling. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. <laughs> um, and to go with that notepad, we have a pen, which is also running with our lovely colour theme. So I'll take the pen out. Oh, yes. It's got sparkly stuff. <laughs> Look at that. It's got little sparkles in it, so that can be my doodling pen, okay, which you could probably, <laughs> you could probably like slip that in there and it'll hold, like Sweet. that. Sweet. Done. Oh. Do you want to take the right, like that, yeah? Thanks. Okay, next we have, let's open that last. Yeah. All right, next we have, there's a little... Ooh, I wonder what that could be. I know. It's so exciting. I cheated. I watched Jace and Jess's unboxing. Oh, stop it! It's so cool. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It is 
a gorgeous, that's heavy too. Yeah. You can tell that's good quality. It's a keychain of a dragon. Which for those that aren't nerdy, it's Mortal Kombat. Is it? Um, yeah. yeah. Okay, you know that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she know Mortal Kombat. <laughs> it's a Mortal Kombat dragon key ring. <laughs> I'm ashamed. That's right. That like, is really cool though. It comes with its own little home. Like, and you know what? If you're putting that on your keychain, you can put like earrings and stuff in there. Yeah, for sure. Or even if I was to be a little bit fancy, I could make like a tiny little Mortal Kombat themed candle. You could. Right? You're very, you're very much good. Helping the business. All right. You All right we'll pop that, that back in there. Oh. Thank you. No way again. What's next? What's next is... Oh, wow, I haven't seen one of these for years. This is really cool. So, it's a Magic Sakura. So, basically, it's it's like a little tree-type thing, and you can it, it can grow. Yeah. Does that make sense? So, it's like... It grows like little crystals, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's not toxic. Oh, that's good. So, it's natural. Natural. Yeah? yeah natural okay. Products. That's the little thing that it can grow in the corner there. And it's really cool. I wonder how long they last. I don't know. I'm excited to do that. You're going to do it tonight, aren't you? Probably. Yeah. Yep. So there's that <laughs> as well. <gasps> it's such a creative idea. She's freaking out. I've got goosebumps. Again. Please check this out. Look at it. How cool is that print? Again, running with the theme of the colours, which I've already mentioned is appealing to me, but that is a really sick looking dragon. Like, he looks badass. Yeah. Right? And it's just incredibly done. It's It's got a gorgeous frame around it. That is definitely going in my library for sure. Yeah. As soon as I get home. How cool is that? It is amazing. All right. So, I'm loving that print. It's straight amazing. Straight in my library. And I know where, too. Incredible. I'm yeah. excited. <laughs> <laughs> it is really, really cool. I'm really excited about this book. Are you really? Yes. Well, you know what I'm excited about is not only is there a book, but it comes with a book sleeve. That's big enough to hold a book. It is, and it's not too tight, it's just right, and it has some cool writing Lighting. on it. Lighting. Yeah. That's cool, and you can even, like, make your book snug in there. Look at that, it's not going to come out. All right, so what's the book? Okay. <gasps> okay. Let me just... Unsnug it. Unsnug it. Oh my god. <gasps> it is Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagwa. Look at that cover though as well. Oh, I just got a head spin. I'm so excited. <laughs> that is incredible. So look at that. Is this the part where I tell you I've read this book? Yeah. I got the arc from Harley Quinn Publishing. Yep. And I devoured it. I gave it five stars. Really? I'm so excited. It's an amazing book. It's got like Japanese folklore and history in there. It's so wonderful and so captivating. It's probably one of the best books I've read this year. Definitely, definitely in the top ten of best books I've read this year. When Destiny Calls, Legends Rise. Ooh, yeah. Goosebumps. These are probably my two favorite items in the box. Yeah. Definitely by far. And like, if you can see it sort of shining, it's embossed. And there's like, obviously a blurb on the back. And I You're think that's, love. I am in love. And you know what? That's going to go straight on my TBR pile mm. as soon as I get home. Yeah, it's definitely one of my favourite books. I really hope you like it. I reckon I will. She's got a very convincing way with words. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Mm. Alright. <gasps> Thanks so much, Giggles! Well, I'll just send her like a video message after this. Yeah, definitely. I'm Simple just that, right? Ugh, rat. Right. So while you pack up your box stuff, I'm gonna jump on and open this one. So this is from Book for the Booked for the Weekend. Blah, 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 blah. So unfortunately, Book for the Weekend closed. Oh. Um, tomorrow was one of my favorite people, um, and just to show you how awesome she was, she wrote on the back. Her, like, from her address, and then put in brackets, because you're a fucking rock star. Legit. Amen. 
She's, that is awesome. She's so cool. I love chatting with Samara. She's really, really awesome. What a gem. Um, so this is like a Halloween. Look at your face. <laughs> <laughs> this is like Halloween theme. So maybe I'll just like. It's one of your favorite things. I know. I'm so excited. All right. So that's cool. That's the spoil card. Uh huh. All right. So let's start with the magnetic bookmark. Which is definitely this one. So it's got two different sides on it. One side is Hocus Pocus with their faces, and the other one's the Hocus Pocus bookmark. This is by Maddie.bookmark. You can find her on Instagram. This is very cute. That's really cute. The picture detail is actually really, really great on this one. Yeah, quality. Yeah. Next one. You go. Next one is it looks like it's a sticker, um, which is running with a Hocus Pocus theme. I put a spell on you. Which is really cool. It's got their faces on there too. And that one is by... I don't know if it's this one or this one. Ooh. Is it a name on it? No. We'll uh, figure it out. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> this is either uh, by cosmic.girl.art at Instagram or Kim Karlika at Instagram. I'm not too sure. Okay. But it is a very, very cute sticker, and obviously based on Hocus Pocus, who are like the queens of Halloween. Absolutely. Definitely one of my favourite movies. Alright, next up. Would you kill me if I said I haven't seen it since I was very small? Uh, I will, and I'll do it off camera. Are you freaking serious? I know. I, it's like, I watch it once a year. I love it. I'll put it in my Netflix list. Is it on Netflix? Yeah, it is. Okay, I'll put it in my list. Definitely. I like keep hearing rumours that there's going to be like a Hocus Pocus 2. I just get like so excited, like my heart just can't take it. It would be good if they used the same actresses. Oh, all three of them are up for it, it's just the studio. Ah. I think it's Warner Brothers, maybe? Get maybe? on it, studio! Come on, mate. Finger out of the ass, get this shit happening. Alright, next one. Actually, that one's. Oh. Double Toil and Trouble, Double Double Toil and Trouble bookmark. Fire Burn and Coydron. Cold. Uh, coydron? The Coydron? <laughs> the Cauldron Bubble. I'd make such a shitty witch. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is by Cosmic Art Girl. This is really, really cute. It's got a girl carving her pumpkin out. That's awesome. That is really awesome. And I love the feel of it. Good quality. Oh, yeah. It's got that really soft sort of paper velvet feel. Yeah. Very good quality and quite thick too, so it's not going to bend. Yep. All right. So, we've got the next one. Do you want to show you that one? Yeah. So, we have another bookmark, which also feels like really good quality. So this one is by Erin McCarthy underscore art on Instagram. So it says Happy Halloween on the back there. Some cute little witches flying in the sky near the moon, which is gorgeous. Next one, my favourite dude, my man of the hour, every hour, is Frankie. And it says coffee gives me life. Yes, it does. Without coffee, I would be a grumpy butthole. And this is by Erin McCarthy underscore art on Instagram as well. On the back it just says Happy Halloween, but you don't really need to know that because it's got Frankie's face on the front. Yep. Alright. Next one. Now I have to say I'm really glad I got this one because <laughs> I am the pun queen. I love puns. This is an adorable bookmark that says Which Way to the Books. You know, get it? Boo. Books. Boo. <laughs> Love it. And this is by Kim Kalika. You can find her on Instagram as well. That is really cute. That is Look really cute. Look at that cute. cute little ghost. And good quality too. Yeah. Such good quality. Another one that's not going to bend easily. Yeah. Last but not least, you can show it. We have an A5 print. This is by this.girl.j at Instagram and it is stunningly gorgeous. It is gorgeous. I love little ghosty things. Yeah. And he's got candy in his pumpkin. <laughs> so cute. So thank you so much to Tamara, a.k.a. Book for the Weekend. She's still active on her Book to the Weekend account, so you can follow her there. I'll have to do that. Um, definitely. You can also find Creative Inspirations and Telltales at Instagram. I'll put their links below. I'm not going to be putting the links for Why Chronicles nor Book for the Weekend. I do not endorse their products. I do not like their products. Sorry, guys. You'll just have to Google that yourself. But overall... That was pretty fun book boxing. And it was pretty book, fun. Book box unboxing. Um, yeah, it was really fun. And especially the extra box. And thank you so much for having me, Blue. I no feel honoured. Right. Anytime. We might have to do another one soon. I feel like that would be a good idea. 
Alright, so that's it from us. If you kind of like my content or you like listening to me ramble, don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, you guys have a nice day. See ya. Bye. Fuck, I like keep my head like really, really high. I know, I heard that. And then your eyes started to water from it. Oh, God.